The castle, a bastion of slavery and colonialism, built by the Dutch East India Company, the first stone was laid on this day in 1666 to create a halfway station on the shipping route from the east to the west, and later on, the first formal seat of government until 1811, as well as the military headquarters from 1674 until the 1990s. Plans are afoot to preserve this history. It's about pulling the resources of all partners and having the research institutions. We have four universities around us to prepare those significant documents and, and, and convince the boards, you know, the nomination boards, uh, that this is a heritage artifact worth preserving. The Defence and Military Veterans Department has set aside 108 million rand for refurbishments, but it will take some time before its facelift is finished. Renovations of this uh, uh, endowment property has been done under the leadership of the Defence Force, but working together with the Department of Public Works. So we want to make sure that we preserve the richness of our history here. A plaque to the 350th commemoration was unveiled and a cleansing ceremony performed. It's estimated that 200,000 people will visit this monument this year and there will be a year-long program to attract local and international tourists. Bulilani Philip, SABC News. Cape Town.